News Interactive is brought to you by Airtel, the smartphone network. Right, time now for all the feedback we're getting on social media. Ooh, do we really Abraham, want all the Abraham? feedback on social media, <laughs> though? Matter, I know that. Oof. Yeah. Social media. There's quite a bit going on. Can on be social your, media. your best friend. Oh, yeah. Or your worst enemy. They can turn the heat on you mm -hmm. and they can love you as well. Yeah. And when they decide to turn the heat on you and you're trending, you can be in some really hard work. That's why you should get interactive with us, okay? The interactive segment is brought to you by Airtel, the smartphone network. Please join us with your comments on facebook.com forward slash join news on TV, on Twitter, the same name, that's join news on TV, and on WhatsApp, the number is 0560800000. Now, we are talking two issues today. It will be packed and interesting. The reigns and, of course, Abraham Atta, which Israel and Ms. G have spoken about extensively in the entertainment segment. But let me just start with the reigns. So let me say, happy new month. March is here, and so are the rains, which should be a very much welcome relief to the heat. But not when it comes with floods. You have been sharing some pictures and videos with us when the few hours of wind and rain visited. Informer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so those were some photos and videos from Owusu Asamoa George, who sent us pictures from Jowulu, the N1 road before the uh, Fiesta Royale um, Hotel. And this, um, we also got one that was the one, the big Cyrillac tin board that was blown away. And that one was from Darren Pule, um, who sent us that from the Tete Kwashi roundabout. Then we also had a video from our shyman and so those were some of the photos and videos that you sent us about the few hours of wind and rain that happened this afternoon and boy Israel when I looked out and saw the clouds oh yeah Ooh. I was driving at the time and it was so and it was really windy it was carrying a lot of dust because the you know the environment is really dusty. It hasn't rained for a long time, so there's a lot of dust circulating. So you see all the dust in the air, and it also impedes d uh, visibility. Yeah, and you you also also see the polythene bags, the black polythene bags, also flying, flying everywhere. Oh, yeah. So we asked people on Facebook to send us uh, pictures and videos to WhatsApp. So we shared those that we got, but right. people also commented. Yeah, th so Facebook. there were a, a few a few comments here, yeah? uh, Tete. Uh, Bridget said uh, from Winneba, it's finally raining after a prolonged drought. 
we hope our taps start flowing. We have endured this water crisis for uh, long. And uh, says, in fact, God truly loves Mother Ghana. Anything we cry for, he delivers. See how Ghanaians have been crying for water a couple of weeks ago. And that uh, long last year we are with abundant rainfall on the first day of a new month. Zimbabwe has been hit with drought for months. And both animals and crops are dying, leading to a declaration of, by President Mugabe as the worst ever to, happen, to have happened in the country's history. A bill says as soon as the air started blowing, the, uh, the wind started blowing, the ECG took advantage of it and took out my lights. Uh, hmm. Now that the rain has come down to the lights are still off for three hours, 45 minutes. In fact, it is so annoying. And uh, uh, Togby says, I can't, but the, I can't buy data to read your news. <laughs> and you expect me to use my data to feed you with pictures or videos through WhatsApp. Send me the data first. I'm like, seriously? Come but on. he just read. Come, come on. He just read and posted no, no from mind. that no data. Mind. Well, on WhatsApp, this one is from Kwekubia Branti of Agona Suedu. He says, hey, Ghana, any small rain brings flood. Wahalao. But I will sleep today, Moom. So that is a message from Agona Suedu. This one says, good evening, my dear. What we are facing today as a country is as a result of proper improper town planning if care is not taken we will one day be carried away by flood well i certainly hope not and this one is for mustafa yakubu um, watching the show in chiriponi and then let's see what else you are saying this one says we need that kind of rain here in the north and this one is from duke in tamale and this one says oh my god we are still facing this flood problem in ghana so we can't fix this problem god save ghana and this is from nanintri adum in kaswa or nana entry in adum estate in kaswa so those are some of your comments on whatsapp now let's move on to the most trending issue on social media Abraham Atta is trending on Twitter and on Facebook. He made Ghana proud over the weekend. First of all, he got to present an Oscar, and then he won an award himself, Best Male Lead at the Independent Spirit Awards. Now, Israel, you called it. <laughs> I remember when you called it, that, you know, Abraham is going to go places, he's yeah, going to yeah. win a couple of awards, and he has. I was actually hoping that he was going to get an Oscar, but uh, come to think of it, no black man was nominated for an Oscar. Yeah, and if, so, if, you, if you watched a bit <laughs> of it, yeah, they, they got some jabs for that, you know, yeah, yeah, the yeah. White People's Choice Oscar's Awards. Oscar's so white. Mm, Oscar's okay, so, so white. Probably if uh, they, they had really thought about black people winning something, maybe Abraham could have picked up something. Chris Rock says they should create a category for black people. <laughs> <laughs> then that one you can be assured that every Definitely. year someone, gonna be would, someone so of color would win an Oscar. Best, best okay. uh, black actor. Yes, but that's not the debate going on right now. <laughs> now there's a rising debate on social media about the future of Abraham Atta's career. One of the questions being asked is whether it will be beneficial to the young star to stay here or relocate to the United States to be groomed and trained so his career is sustained. Okay, so let's see what you've been saying on Facebook about that matter, Israel, if you can just pull up that story. And that All is a story that right. Leela... It's, it's a story yeah. that's actually uh, quite engaging. Yeah. So um, here we have, we have what, like 58 shares. Yeah. In some of the comments that are coming, Sajifu says, the Ghanaian environment is so poisonous as suggested by uh, Pastor Mensah Otable, he needs to be relocated ASAP. There are nine replies, which means that people are talking about <laughs> it. Now, really, then he uh, made it through the poisonous atmosphere. Talent and greatness doesn't matter uh, wherever, where you're from. Wait a minute, who is Dr. Mensah Otable politicking? That political pastor? Osajifu says, uh, we are talking about talent sustainability. Dosia comes yeah. in and says, Nyabak Ekitua Paul, may God forgive you for your words. If you're giving a Bible, can you preach or prophesy? Oh boy. A pause comes in, Nyabak, because of you. Oh no. It just then, goes Nyabak, on. Paul, no wonder you pay. Oh no. Then it goes, no, 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 no. Okay. So um, let's skip all that. Let's, let's go to <laughs> Frederick Aivo. Says, no matter where you are, God says, Yes, no man can say no. God located and brought him this far in the middle of nowhere. It doesn't matter where he is. And then Killian says, absolutely yes. And I concur to that. Abraham Atta should fast and quickly relocate to the USA. And its environment is very worrisome and poisonous and infectious with bad belly evil people. 
Please, mm. Abraham should relocate immediately. In fact, very fast. And the uh, bishop says, just as he's called Abraham in the Bible, also for God to fulfill his everlasting covenant of riches to Abraham. You told Abraham to leave his father's house and country. <laughs> oh, now you're getting Biblica in order to see the manifestation of a blessing. And he goes on. He quotes Genesis Ooh, 12, 12, 12, 1. Well, I also posted the, the same um, article by uh, Leila Jansi on my uh, Facebook page. And it's gotten quite some traction. I'm essentially been having the same kind of arguments that uh, people have been having. And I'm not going to be sharing uh, what I'm, I've said here. You can all, always go to the, my Facebook page and get to read the comment and add to, to the debate over there. But it's similar to what people are saying on... Well, Twitter yeah, it's similar to people. Okay. Where, my, my point, the point I, I keep on making is that I'm only saying that he stands a better chance in his chosen career because yeah. he's acting and he's getting exposure and he's getting yeah. access to Hollywood. Yeah. And he should exploit that. Yeah. If he comes to stay in Ghana, I don't know how he's going to reap whatever access and, you know, the leads he's gotten so far. What and if he has a good management team? I mean, that, you know, really looks out for rules for me, tailored for him. Yeah. And they keep him relevant. But it, the way you're going to stay relevant is that you're in the country. There are shows. You're invited to shows. Ellen DeGeneres, they put you on. You come out. You're becoming popular. They're putting you on several shows across the country. And then you're growing in popularity. Yeah. Abraham, we wish you all the best indeed. And also trending about Abraham Atta on social media. So, of course, um, the faux pas um, by our own Miss G and Lexis Bill and another presenter, Jay Foley, how they've been receiving a lot of flack for making fun of the teenage boy who has shot to stardom through his role, Agu, in the movie Beast of No Nations. Now, subsequently, um, Kwame Sechiyama, Alexis Bill, and Ms. G have apologized to Abraham. Um, you know, it's they poked fun, um, probably shouldn't have, because obviously a lot of people are upset about it. But, you know, for me, this thing um, should raise a bigger debate. Okay, for me, because right. I think we live in a culture where it's like we tend to laugh at every little mistake that someone makes, um, pronunciation of something, no matter the language, yeah. you know. And no matter and, who you are. And no matter who you are. I mean, the president gets it all the time. Yeah. You know, if, and all our presidents get it. You know, the late president Mills got it. Uh, president, the form, former president Kufu also got it. Mm -hmm. President Mahama is getting his fair share of all that. Yeah. So it, it, it happens too. It does happen. It, everybody. Okay. So Miss Jeep, um, he he's posted an apology and it's on his Facebook page. We've shared it on the Joy News uh, page as well. So you can get to see um, and get to read what Miss G has been saying. We also have the apology by uh, Lexis Bill. It's somewhere down there. We're going to be running to it. But if you go on to... Um, uh, Twitter, Abraham Atta is trending, and so I just picked this trend. Uh, Isaac Ashan talks about from the streets of Ashaman to the red carpet of, of the Oscars, the rapid rise of Abraham Atta. But if you move on, uh, you go, you can get to see what's being said about um, Lexis Bill and uh, Jay Foley. So, Ajwa Pira says, I'm sure say this, Abraham Atta team, they bought John Tumelo, Jocelyn <laughs> Dumas, and Ivan Nelson all together. Well, they've all come out to congratulate yeah. him for making it uh, where they all dream to go, actually. Yeah. And then, the, this, so Jay Foley also apologizes to Abraham Atta, and uh, Abraham Atta shows much class as he wins Baker Weekend Awards. Jay Foley reacts to Abraham Atta's mocking comments. And uh, there's some others who are just really clean all that's going on. And uh, okay, so Lexis Bill ap apologizes to Abraham Atta. Let's look at uh, this one by <laughs> oh, Obina no, really. says, Ghana 15 year old, I made Abraham Atta popular, Bishop Daniel Obinim says. What? Uh, Ghana's 15 year old, um, Abraham Atta won best. Uh, so essentially, he's claiming it. I'm not sure he actually said that. I don't that. think so. I'm sure either. people like So Ace Phoenix so. says Ghana peeps play too much. Yes, <laughs> we do play too much. <laughs> but more of your comments on WhatsApp and another debate that has been going on after the break. <laughs> Welcome 
back to the interactive segment. Now let me go on to WhatsApp and read a few of your comments. This one is from Benedicta and Juje, who says, and who are the hypocrites criticizing Ms. G if they haven't done worse things before, saying thank you like Abraham Atta is just creating fun, and I don't think Ms. G was actually mocking the small hero. Kudos to Abraham, and may God continue to lift him up. This one is from Empress um, in 37, who says he should relocate. If no, then why do Ghanaians go and study abroad? When he is in the States, he will meet great competition, which will compel him to do more, and he will learn a lot from other great actors. Now, all this has also created another debate which seeks to define who a celebrity is, and this is what people had to say. Me, a celebrity is someone who possess or lives on his own, owns a house, uh, cars, does not really live in rent apartment, uh, have his own car, and people look upon him or her to take a full step. Israel, you have your own car? People look upon you to take a, a full step? What else? Okay, now you're mocking somebody. Stop it. No, no, no. Stop I'm trying it. to define celebrity to see if you meet the criteria. Okay, so I have my own car. Yes. Yeah. Then you, you, people look, look upon you to take a footstep. Yeah. And then what else did he say? Well, uh, you're okay. I mean, essentially, essentially you're, you're, you, right. you're not renting an apartment. You're not renting an apartment. Yes. I, I, you have your I don't own know about home. That. <laughs> you have your own home. I don't know about that. I mean, because you could be very rich and you decide that, okay, I want to rent an apartment. Maybe I want to rent a condo. Why won't you invest? As in buy. buy yes. A, well, maybe the, condo, the particular condo you want is not available for sale. But for rent, maybe it's over some, mm. you know, French river. Anyway, <laughs> Maunyo believes you are a celebrity. Oh, so, thank you very much, Maunyo. You're so, far too yes, kind. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I believe you look up to me to take a full step. Who, who also believes um, Abraham should relocate to yeah. the States. And then someone doesn't think, okay, Schiffman, he's asking, why must he be sent abroad? Yeah. We can groom even more and better talents here okay. in Ghana. So he doesn't agree that Ibrahim Atta should be sent abroad. Wow. And that's how thank, we thank wrap up on the oh, interactive. Before you wrap up, I, I, need, to, I need to pick uh, uh, this. Uh, oh, yes, this yes, yes, yes. So yes, there was yes, this yes. tweet uh, this morning. Uh, Atuko Amina Dazi on the Super Morning Show on Joy mm -hmm. FM. He compared uh, President Mohammed's uh, 10,000 sandals gesture to... Okay. Um, Abraham, Abraham has uh, Tom's you know, ten, ten thousand Tom's. If, if, if effectively, they're both Tom. I mean, ten thousand worth. So ten thousand sandals versus ten thousand Tom's, and uh, which one? Which are shoes? Which, which one nailed it? Then somebody drew my attention to the fact that President Mahama may probably be wearing a Tom's himself. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. It may not be true. I'm, I don't I'm not, think so. I'm not sure about that. Doesn't but if it like turns out Tom's. to be true. And, uh, Can we see Abraham's own? Yeah. If it turns out to be true, then what a story you could be imagining that uh, President Mahama gave Let's the not go there. sandals. And then Abraham Attack gave the people what President Mahama wears. Eish. Well, that's the theory that's going on on social media. No, it's, it's not coming from me. these things i don't think those are toms though that the president is wearing well, yeah. but yeah that's that's how we wrap up on the interactive segment is but um thank you so much for joining us um, remember you can always send us a message catch up with us on our social media handles join news on tv good evening mm -hmm.